At a point, you know, various accounts and reports would, would say both of you fell apart. Yes. Uh, some say, some, yeah. some say uh, <laughs> perhaps, because you said Fela had likely accepted all your works, yes. and then maybe perhaps you guys had uh, uh, differences mm. yeah. in, in desires, you not yeah. accurately reflecting what he wanted, or maybe you being heady. How do you describe if you reminisce on, mm. on those happenings? Yeah, it makes me smile, even though sometimes I, I feel pain in my heart. But what happened, you know? first um, off? It's, 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 a scenario, it's a natural human scenario. You know, it was like a love affair because we were in love with each other so deeply. But it got to a point, um, ego started clashing. You know, I was becoming very powerful in my role. You had grown. <laughs> yes. Mm. And um, I, had, I did a cover, um, JJD, and Fela rejected it. it ah, I was shocked. But I didn't agree with him. But that's I, the first time that yes, you would have a Yes, the first time. So, but, you know, he was my master, so I couldn't say no to him so he gave me a concept he never gave me concept before so i took i said okay so i i, I worked on that concept for him to please him i showed him he said good but inside me i said i'm not trashing my own so i went to the managing director of deca the Oyibo man, mm -hmm. uh, because i was that powerful in my role so i went to him i told him we are doing a double sleeve even though it's a single album he said oh but he said, but I love, yeah, the double gatefold, it's beautiful. So he went to England to print. They used to print those days in rubber sticks in England. So about a couple of weeks back and uh, later, he got back, sent for me to come and see the print. And he said, lovely. I said, yeah, lovely, double. So he said, go and show it to Fela. My heart skipped a bit. So I went, I, I said to Fela, I showed him. I said, Fela, this is your own. <laughs> he was smiling. I just turned it back. I said, this is my so own. So that's double, front yeah, and back. Yes, okay, right. without his permission. And you understand? His response, because I, yeah? And his response. He looked at me and went really angry. I said, let me, you hit me below the belt. So I ran away. I didn't come back to Calcutta that day. Till the next day. So he had cooled down. So, but I knew. <laughs> he kept it somewhere. Two years later, he had the opportunity. He rejected this sorrow, tears and blood. Mm. And I was heartbroken. And I walked away. I worked away. But do you, think that, eight years. do you think you were right? Yeah. I mean, he is the, yeah. he, <laughs> he, he, he is the owner <laughs> of the vision. <laughs> and you are trying to subvert it. Zahar, yeah, he is the owner of the vision. But yeah. the universe sent me to collaborate. Which universe? Uh, Lady Mary. Lady Mary. <laughs> yes. Lady Mary didn't tell him. He didn't know I sent you. You should tell him too. He owns the vision. So, so you are a false so, prophet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, okay. Okay, now... You know, um, he rejected that cover in 1978. Yeah. I did, was you, did, you, did you keep yeah. that like you did? I kept for, it for 32 sorry. years. Okay. 32 years. I kept that so cover. So he had his way at the time? Yeah, at that time. Okay. He used a different cover. Not yours? For, or was it no, yours? not mine. Okay. For 32 years. And I got it back on the cover after 32 years. Okay. Then how, he was how did alive that happen? Or when he was no, exactly. he was gone already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, I had so um, you are revenging. You are revenging. You are revenging the dead. I, I'm, I'm done for the universe sent me to do. Finish. Okay, but 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 then <laughs> was there room for yeah. reconciliation? And did you? Yes, there was reconciliation. It? Eight did it years eventually later. happen? Okay, yes, you were getting to that. Right? Yeah, eight years after we reconciled. After eight years, so the other covers I did there and then. Uh, we were under um, the auspices of uh, Beko Ransomputi, who was handling his business. You know, when he went to jail, Beko took over. So any uh, uh, music that is so important, Beko would send me a letter inviting me to come and listen. So it was a business relationship I had with Fela towards the At end. At that time. Yes. What, what is your sense of Fela's uh, politics vis-a-vis -vis his brothers? Because you are saying that uh, mm -hmm. Fela had an epiphany mm -hmm. only when he went to the U.S. Mm, yeah. But his mother was already political. Mm -hmm. His brothers, Beko, uh, Oluko, Oliko, Oye, Beko yeah. and Oliko, yes. they were all political Activists, in their own right, sense. Mm, right. Why mm. did he have to go to U.S. to move from the uh, profane to the political? Um, political, they were all. Mm -hmm. But ideologically, they were on different okay. pedestals. Pan-Africanism is what Fela was fighting for. The brothers were in pa fighting no, for No, but it's music. The music yeah. before then yeah. had nothing even political. Yeah. Yeah. Kuo, Kuo, 
It had nothing to do with political. Uh, but that was, we were talking it about the epiphany. It was when he started saying, yeah, yeah that's, right, what, that's right, what I'm right. saying, yeah. that that epiphany yeah. came. Yeah. Why did it have to come from outside when I, we thought that it was already there? In, in with the family, with the mother who was... That, that's the problem of colonialism. The miseducation we've been going through for centuries. Right. It gets us confused as a human being, as a race. So he had to go to America, well, where he was taught to be African. For that encounter. Yes. And he okay. said it too. He said he was in Nigeria, his own country. He didn't know how to and, be African. And had been uh, somewhat blind. Yeah, like, blind. Like so the mother Nigeria was already too. African. I mean, you read the history of uh, the mother. The mother was a, was a nationalist, was uh, anti anti-imperialist, she was anti-establishment, she so had everything. What was her relationship with her yeah. mother as you know it? Yeah. Mm. It was very cordial, extremely so. The mother um, shared everything with him, the ideology in totality. For the fact that Fela changed the family name from Ransom Kuti to Anikulak Bokuti in 1975, mm. uh, all the brothers refused, but the mother agreed and took up that name. So you know how against close the they others. were. Close uh, yeah. amazing, because there was some amazing. time uh, Fela called uh, some, some of us to his, um, to his um, what do you call it, to his, to his room okay. in, uh, okay. in the Kedja. Yeah, okay. uh, it was myself, I remember, uh, Dile Momodu, Oh, okay. uh, Ohi Alegbe, Bayo oh, okay. um, Nonuga, oh, yeah. uh, Femi Judu, oh. and we're there, and it was to talk about something like a, uh, an anniversary of his mother's death. Mm. We thought he had something to say. He really had nothing to say. No. We were saying, this is not the time for go, go, go. This is not guy for anything. You know. He yeah, mama, mama die. Yeah. Like, well, just, mm. He just wanted to vent. Yeah. That's what he wanted yes. to do. Yeah. He shows how very close mom. he was to the mother. Yeah, his mom right. is one of his saints. Right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in modern day, I, I understand you designed a cover for files. Yes, right? yes. Do you have and that here? And, and what oh, does that no. say yeah. about um, your, your, your thing or your perception about Afrobeat musicians at this time? We have some people yeah. who profess to be self, um, you know, uh, self profess to be Afrobeat artists, but mm -hmm. is it how you see it? Is it how it's supposed to be? And why false? Yeah, um, I think Afrobeats with the S, I totally agree with from inception, from the first time, although some purists were against that terminology, but growth has to come, elements of growth has to come. Reggae music has over 15 patterns, but it's still known as reggae. There is dancehall, there is raga. So this current pattern that is called Afrobeats uh, tells to the fact that uh, uh, young people, generations have been inspired by the foundation that Fela and Nicola Pokuti laid. So I'm totally in sync with this. I love it. And why Fowles? Fowles sought me out himself, even though sometimes I feel like these young people, I wish you know, we could have a connect. But you know, I can't go begging anybody. So Bob Faust came and sought me out, and I felt really happy and proud to work with him for that uh, moral instruction cover. And um, we created a record in a way because I designed nine covers. I have covers. a feeling that Faust came because of, yeah. uh, because of the father. Um, oh, oh. Hey, 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 you don't know that. I don't have Femi, Femi Falano. Mm. Yes. Femi Falano yeah. is a very strong... Yeah. If I even call Rebid yeah. Fela Fan. Yeah, he was Fela oh, I lawyer. Recall, I recall. Not only being his lawyer, right. yeah. I went to Falano's, uh, uh, um, what do you do before you get married, that party? Oh, bachelor's okay, bachelor's oh, Eve. Okay, okay. Koji Koko. Uh, yeah, Koko, of course. Koji Koko. That yes. was the song <laughs> yes, that Fela, that uh, Fanny Falano responded to mm -hmm. that night. Yeah. And he started, he started mm. jumping and dancing. He yeah. went beyond he, lawyer crime. Yeah, no, 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 there yeah. was nothing like that. Yeah, Fowl so, used to say that Fela every Fela day was, uh, driving to school, the school. father played only Fela, Fela in, the, exactly. uh, in, this, in, the, in, this, exactly. in the car. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so that was an yeah. influence, yeah. a strong influence. And so, of course, we see yeah. so many musicians, you know, talk about, you know, mm -hmm. how Fela influenced them in mm -hmm. their present day mm -hmm. work. But mm -hmm. um, talking about revolutionizing, you know, yeah. the, the, this, this craft, are we there yet, looking at our content, the content that we hear now? Uh, how satisfied yeah. are you? Yeah, that's, that's where I have um, some reservations, the content. Because I believe content is very important, especially our society needs a lot of directions. Philosophers need to play their role. Mm -hmm. um, creatives are supposed to be philosophers, and they're supposed to reflect, a genuine creative reflects the environment. So the, the content is my issue. Um, it's like 95% of the content is, you know, it's, 
is very trivial. Um, it's about a woman's body or, you know, bling or fancy car or what you are drinking. But I, 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 I love to see, you know, conscious content that is, you know, trying to bring in solutions, you know, into problems of Does society. Does it not mean that you're so, out of sync with the... Yeah. You have to sync with uh, the, the new reality. New reality. Right. And also, yeah. I also want you to reflect, to reflect uh, the fact that we are going into a new medium. How do you reconcile your, your art with the new social medium, with the mm -hmm. new internet, uh, social, um, uh, new technology? Yeah, I'm still, I'm still on. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing covers. Mm -hmm. This year, I did a cover for Newen Afrobeat, mm -hmm. a Chile Afrobeat band. Mm -hmm. They are Oyibos. They play Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. um, I just finished a cover uh, three weeks ago for um, a group called Yankari Afrobeat Collective. They are in the um, Republic of Ireland. So I'm still doing covers, even though it's um, streaming age. Right. Uh, there are still uh, people who collect vinyl. Mm -hmm. The vinyl is having a resurgence in really? a very yeah, limited edition printer. Right, okay. Every Ni album Nigeria now. too? Yes, oh, even right, in Nigeria. Great, yes, great, yes, great. yes. Uh, even great. Bonaboy made vinyl. Uh, Asha made vinyl of her mm. last uh, LP. Mm. So right. I'm still yes, on fella, over 2,000 covers fella, to my fella, credit. Fella wow. made classic. 50 great, years. Great, yes, Fella great, made classic. Great, yes, great, yes, great. Yes, uh, yes, timeless, uh, timeless work yes, is good. Yes, I just did a cover a book cover for this a young man. Okay. Uh, he's a Nigerian. Um, uh, it's a book on poetry. And I was impressed. He insisted I have to do his cover. Mm. And you know, I said, okay, let me do it. So it's a new um, product in the market. Right. It's just Fantastic. a small poetry book. Uh, the poem is about Nigeria, you know, right. um, solutions and all that. Oh, great. So that's, that's how right. far art can go. Absolutely. Fela will never, Fela, yes. Fela will yes. never go. I'm so right. sad. Fela, you don't come again. Yeah. Yes. You never All come right. again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, place to <laughs> yes. rest our conversation <laughs> at this time. Let me, Gary Oku, we really appreciate uh, your time with us you. here on TVC Breakfast. I really appreciate your invitation. Wish you, me. Wish you the right. very best. Yes. Obviously, you're still yes. in your element. So, yes. well, right. Great. 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 We're Mimo, right? Right. Uh, no, no, this is Sorry, Kemi. This is Kemi. This is, I'm Kemi. Oh, Kemi. Sorry. Kemi. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks again. We appreciate. Okay.